Aquarius. What's up, gangsters? Um, kind of weird energy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Kind of weird energy in the air. I started reading a little bit. It was kind of, it was that back and forth kind of energy that like, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I'm going to kind of go from the oracle into the tarot. It's the reverse order of how I normally do it. But I noticed that whenever I do this with Leos, I get a more clear message. Um, when I start getting <laughs> like that, none of this is making sense. I'm like, okay, I just need to deeper my clarity first and then like kind of go from there. So, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> My beautiful Aquarius. Um, in case nobody has told you, I'm also very proud of you. I've been, you know, kind of observing your progress this whole time, and it seems like you're really on a path of betterment of self, right? And I'm sure nobody else really tells you how proud they are of you because you're an Aquarius, and people are typically happy when you suffer because. We have, I know this sounds fucked up, but we have this inherent ability about us that, you know, we we can be so logical and analytical sometimes that people think that we're cold and callous, and so when bad things happen to us, they're like, <laughs> you know, and it's like, dude, that ain't, it ain't our fault that we're just smarter, <laughs> you know, it's like, no, but I feel you, like, um, so, in case nobody else has said it, I'm proud of you, um, and I'm rooting for your success. Uh, I know it's hard to be the thinker of the tarot, right? Like, um, whereas most other signs, they can be more on the emotional front, but like, we are fucking thinkers. We're borderline a fire sign, you know? We're like, I don't even, you know, we are literally symbolized by withholding emotions, right? We are the water bearers. Water is emotion. So we like hold on to it. We reserve it. We keep it inside. We we decide when we want to release our emotions, right? Um, which I think is really cool because then we have like a superpower there. We're like, we get to decide um, when we want to be vulnerable and when not to. We have that um, intellect that gives us that. Um, not saying that other signs are not intellectual. I'm just saying that that's very prominent in the Aquarian sign. So, Daisy and the Dandelion in reverse, okay? Um, <clears throat> I feel like you've had to let go of people or a person or a job. Um, could be family, friends, relationship, or a job. <laughs> um, whatever the case is. Um, this was kind of something that you were comfortable in. With this daisy and the dandelion, I feel like you were very comfortable. And the universe was like, you're too comfortable. Let's stir some shit up, right? Let's, uh... One of our biggest journeys as Aquarians is this ego death. Oh my gosh. I'm about to post a video on how I had to set my pride aside yesterday. Um, <laughs> because... Because I was told... Uh, I did not want to. I'm going to, you know, I'll, that'll be the next video. Just wait for it. <laughs> I'll give you a full rundown on my own ego death. <laughs> uh, God. The, the universe is a little challenging lately. Um, wants to know just how humble we are, right? Uh, all right, so Prince of Cups in reverse. So this is kind of the energy that you're sitting in that I feel like you're kind of, like I said, withholding your emotions, right? <laughs> like, um, fuck, I don't even need these cards. I could just read you. Um, you know, because I feel like when you were vulnerable, it, it was followed up by a lot of strife, right? We've got this Five of Wands. And it's like, you know, every time you try to get vulnerable with somebody, it kind of like turns into this like thing, right? Um, Eight of Swords, Interference, <laughs> and then you have the Hangman. Okay, so yeah, you definitely felt like hung up on this, right? Um, 
hung up on these emotions and hung up on the obstacles and just straight up hung up, right? And with and you were struggling to like push forward. Um, I think you almost had to jar up your emotions for this. You almost had to um, seek yourself instead of any kind of external thing, right? And we have Seven of Wands and Valor. Obviously, you got Valor, right? Obviously. You're basically a fucking war hero <laughs> at this point with all the bullshit you have to go through as an Aquarian, right? Um, people don't fucking get you. Uh, it's <laughs> That's our job, to be the ones that nobody gets, right? Um, and then they try to, like, throw their identity onto you, like a projection. They're like, oh, you must be this, this, and this, because I'm not. And you're like, no, bro, I am not that. Um, I know who the fuck I am. I'm Aquarius. <laughs> I'm asparagus. <laughs> like, fuck, you know? Uh, I don't know. I feel like you have a deep sense of who you are. And that's something that a lot of people feel um, kind of threatened by. Because they're sitting there in themselves kind of like, they're, you know, they're like, well, who am I trying to figure it all out? And you're like, I know who the fuck I am. Who are you, though? <laughs> like, what are you? You know, it's like, I don't know if you meet other humans and you're just like, what the fuck are you? Are we even the same species? Um... <laughs> And then Ace of Swords, so you're going to open up a communication, a line of communication here. <laughs> um, Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine is entering the end of a phase, right? Um, and this Nine of Cups is typically happiness and the upright, but in the reverse, it's unhappiness, right? And I feel like with this Daisy and the Dandelion situation, you were not happy. Like, you were... Sorry, I've got a hair that's just, like, in my face. Okay. All of them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but, yeah, so, um, you basically, uh, you're not happy, and I feel like you're communicating about that. Or you have communicated about that, and you're just kind of, like, fucking done, right? You're done feeling unhappy. Um... Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse, you're done feeling sorrow, okay? Yeah. Because um, you're, this is a death card in reverse, right? So you're in the rebirth. You're like, the cycle has ended. It's, it's done for. And right now you're embarking on a whole new cycle. With this Ace of Swords, Ace is always the beginning of a new chapter, right? Um, <clears throat> gangsta, what up though? You got the Two of Cups here. So maybe you're beginning a love cycle because uh, it literally says love on it. I try not to throw love into the mix too quickly because, you know, I try not to be presumptuous. But in this, it, it looks like you are entering a new rebirth, right? A new phase in love. Um, two of swords in reverse. Um, in the upright, this means peace. <laughs> so... I feel like you might be feeling a little inner turmoil at this time. Kind of like going back and forth in your head about it. Like, maybe there's fear involved. Maybe, I don't know, I feel like you're catching feelings, though. I feel like my boy's in love. <laughs> okay. Um, and... I don't know, you're not at peace with this though. It's almost like you're you're fighting it, right? You're fighting this feeling. You're like, fuck, look at what I just went through, universe. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, so because you weren't feeling very abundant, right, in the past. Um, with this two of cups, I see a lot of abundance, right? In the past, though, you were not feeling super abundant, and this kind of threw you for a fucking loop, you know, because Aquarius like to know, Aquarians like to know that they uh, can handle themselves, take care of themselves, and it's almost like, I don't even want to be with somebody unless I know I got me first, uh, unless I know I can survive just by myself, alright, <laughs> you know, because, I mean... 
there's nothing greater than building a relationship with self. And that could be part of this two of cups too. You might be building a whole new relationship with yourself. Um, a whole new cycle of love for yourself, right? Um, Princess of Wands in reverse. So this is opposite energy of you. You're the prince of, uh, the prince of Cups in reverse. This is a Princess of Wands in reverse. This is somebody um, kind of lacking in the communication department. Um, this is somebody who doesn't show up, if that makes sense. It, it's like somebody who hasn't really shown up for you. You might show up for them, but I feel like with this daisy and the dandelion in reverse, this could be the one that you were like, you know what, you weren't there for me <laughs> when I fucking needed you. You know, you're always there when there's somebody watching and observing, but where the fuck were you when I needed you, personally? Um, so, damn, damn, fool, okay, where the fuck were you, princess, <laughs> not showing up, not do, not meeting me halfway, right, that's, that's kind of what I feel like is, uh, happening that's you're in the rebirth bro you're like i am not dealing with people who ain't showing up for me no more what why would i even do that um you want to throw me out into the cold well go by because guess what i can traverse this shit <laughs> the wilderness is safer than a relationship for, for an aquarian right <laughs> Like, we'll, we're good on our own. It's when other people come into the mix up. We're like, what the fuck is going on, right? It's like, uh, it's almost like if anybody wants to get with you, they have to, they have to offer something that is better than your solitude at this point, right? <laughs> and good fucking luck. Good fucking luck. Queen of Discs. Okay, you know what? I stayed corrected. This Queen of Discs might show up <laughs> offering something um, better than your solitude. <laughs> Let's see. They're virtuous with this Three of Wands. Um, this is somebody who kind of hustles, right? This is somebody who stands in their own authority, somebody who's confident. Um, This is somebody who just fucking traverses shit, who kind of overcomes shit. Um, where you had to let go of Princess of Wands over here, I feel like this Queen of Discs is starting to show her face a little bit. This is somebody completely different. This is somebody who has stepped into their maturity, um, where the Princess of Wands has not. Um, they're even in the reverse, showing how little responsibility they are have like or they feel they have you know they they're not responsible people um they expect everyone else to take care of their shit for them right and then when you're like i don't want to do that then they're like what <laughs> i was relying on you and you're like nah don't do that <laughs> um <clears throat> Knight of Wands in reverse. I haven't talked to you about this. Or if they have, this it still feels like there's more communication to be had, right? Um, it just kind of feels like this Queen of Discs is observing you at this time. Kind of seeing how things play out, kind of deciding on a path for themselves. Definitely feel this Two of Cups energy with them, though. They, they're observing you with love, right? And admiration. All right. Who this? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's so you know, they may have opened up communication with you in the past or something. But right now, I just see them not really rushing in, but just kind of observing the situation. Um, kind of like... 
I hate how toxic it sounds, but almost like breadcrumbing, right? Just kind of like le dropping hints, dropping little little tidbits, I, you know? And it's not like in the negative breadcrumbing kind of way. It's kind of like, do you notice? <laughs> like, I'm right here observing, but I, I feel like they're just skeptical about rushing in. Yeah. They may be, I mean, if they're observing, they see that you're going through this whole thing, that you're embarking on a whole new chapter of your life. So it's, it's, it's very mature of them to give you that space to do so, right? It's very mature of them to let you get your head right. Um, I feel they're virtuous, right? This is somebody who's very honorable, somebody who takes you fucking seriously, right? This is not this princess of wands. Who just kind of wanted you to take care of them, right? This is like a whole other. This is a whole other level of them, okay? This is like. It's like they show it different. King of Wands. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, I feel like you, because we're going back to that masculine energy, right? And I'm not saying that this is male by any means. This could be a woman. I know I'm sitting in this king of wands right now, <laughs> you know, like, um, just like this queen of discs may not be a woman. It could very well be a man who is very in touch with their emotional maturity. You know, this princess of swords over here could definitely be a man who expects you to take care of it, who, who is very codependent, who um, is shit with communication, right? And then we've got you here, the king of communication, the king of speaking new, your truth, the king of not being afraid, right? That fucking lion is right behind him and he's like, you know what, I don't turn my back on my enemies. This isn't my motherfucking enemy, right? Uh, this is my lion. <laughs> uh, so, I feel like, yeah, you, I mean, obviously, Aquarians, it's almost like torture to not speak your truth, right? If, if you feel it inside of you, like, it will eat you up until you have to. <laughs> like, you don't have a choice. You, it's almost like it's inherent in us. We're not like other people who can just, like, sit on bullshit forever, right? We can't sit and keep things in our mind and just, like, not say shit about it. If we have a thing that's, like, haunting our minds, because we'll go into the thought loops about it, we'll weigh all the pros and cons, and we're like, you know what, there are a lot of cons here. I have to say it anyway. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, and I just see you here, like, you're living your truth. You're speaking your truth. Um, you don't shy away from that. Um, you may have dealt with a lot of deceit in your life and you're just like, dude, I am not like these people. I'm not going to sit in deceit. I'm not going to fucking, what is the point of that, right? Who can even keep track of all that shit? Um, it's like there's a liberation and a strength and maturity in somebody who can really fucking speak their truth, right? Um, and with the Prince of Cups in reverse, you're still withholding your emotions a bit, right? And maybe it's like a self-preserving type of energy here where you're like, no, dude, I, I don't play fucking games, right? I just don't play games. That's where you're at. Um, if people want to show up playing fucking games with you, you're like, fucking just leave. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> leave me alone. I am playing games. Um, so I feel like that might be why this Queen of Gists is not, like, um, rushing in either, because they want to show you that they're not a game player, right? They want to show you that they're just kind of in it. Um, it's almost like they don't even want to communicate that they're in it. They just want you to know that they're in it, <laughs> you know? They're just like, I'm right fucking here. I mean, not that they don't communicate about it. I feel like... Communication is inevitable. Um, but at this time, it's it's like they almost just want you to know, you know? Um, that they're just here and they're holding space for you, right? Um, with this Eight of Cups in reverse, I 
feel like they're not walking away from this connection, right? They're standing their ground and they're sitting there. They're holding their cup. And it's kind of cute because it's like they understand you intrinsically, right? They understand you on a whole other level. Whereas this Princess of Wands could never, never understand that. Um, this Queen of Discs is like, I'm holding space for you. This is not, I don't feel like we need to go and have like a serious fucking discussion or anything at this time. You do your healing, you do, you go through what you gotta go through, just know I'm holding space for you. Um, and just kind of sitting in this con connection. It's almost like a surrendering to the connection, right? Kind of like it is what it is in their this is a very honorable person, right? It's almost like they don't want to possess you in the way that others may have wanted to possess you. They want to appreciate and admire you, you know? It's not about ownership over you. It's about companionship, you know? Um... Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah, so, <laughs> like I said, they're not really, um, communicating about it. They just want you to know that they're holding space, like, they're like, Aquarius, I know you read my mind, <laughs> please read it, um, <laughs> it's kind of cute, they might be shy too, um, they might, they might, more than that, they might just see where you're at and kind of, like, giving you your space and holding space for you. Um, they're not turning their back on you. And I don't see you really turning your back on them either. You know, where we had this, like, death with this Princess of Wands, we have the rebirth with this, with you sitting in this uh, King of Swords in reverse energy. This is not cutting off. This is not, um, it, it's almost like you're surrendering to the outcome, too, a little bit. Um, it's like, it's almost like you let your guard down with this person, but you're not worried about that. You're not worried about your vulnerability because you know your strength, your strong as fuck, right? You sit in your strength, um, and you see their strength. There's strength in restraint, right? This is a lion not devouring this lamb. So it's like, you see strength in their restraint too. Um, it's like they're not pushing. They're just admiring. And where, see, you're the king of wands in the upright, right? This is a queen of wands in the reverse. You guys are, like, divinely, like, counterparts, right? Um, I feel like there's a lot of mirroring that happens here. Um, where, but it's kind of like opposite equals, right? Where you are like, I'm standing in my truth, I'm living this. It's almost like they're like, I know my truth. I'm just gonna keep it to myself a little bit. <laughs> or like, you know, or they'll, they'll give you a little bit. Uh, but they're not, they're not fully opening up, um, they just want you to know. <laughs> this reminds me of my mom when she was, she just wanted me to read her fucking mind, right? And it's like, I feel like this is somebody who just wants you to know. Um, I'm going to drop an oracle card on here, give you some advice before we go. Um, <laughs> this is kind of weird energy, I don't know. It's like, you're definitely being observed at this time. Um, you know what, I'm going to get another oracle deck. How about that? Let's be spicy today. Um, I don't know. It's... It's so honorable, though, because you, you definitely see them withholding. And not, not like, in a mischievous or deceitful kind of way, but just, like, in a respectful, virtuous kind of way, where they're like, 
I know you're finding your peace right now, you know? And so I'm just holding space for you while you do that. Um, there's a lot of love there. Um, the onk. Um, the onk is the key of life, right? It's, I have one. <laughs> um, I have a couple actually. <laughs> I love the onks. Um, but this is, this is something that every Egyptian royal in ancient Egypt, um, every goddess, god, was all depicted carrying an onk, right? This key of life, this ability to traverse heaven and hell and all the realms in between. Um, and then with this octogram, right, the eight, eight pointed star, that's the star of Lakshmi. Um, that is the star of, um, the god, the god Vishnu's wife. Um, she's the goddess of prosperity, protection, um, particularly with, like, mothers and kids. Um, Lakshmi is kind of amazing. I love her. Um, with the Yao, I feel like you're kind of getting out of your thought loop. It's like almost like you're purposefully stopping them, right? You're purposefully, like, as soon as you catch yourself in a loop, you're like, cut off, cut off. It's like, um, you're changing, right? You're not just letting yourself vibe on autopilot anymore. You're changing. Um, <clears throat> And we have the element of fire here. Um, you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, whatever the case is, fire is a lot of passion and a lot of strength. It's really fucking good energy. I really love this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Really fucking good energy. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, the heart chakra. <laughs> Bro, okay. Your heart chakra is activated. Okay. This is good energy. I'm going to leave it here um, because miraculously my video didn't cut off at the normal time it cuts off. And I'm counting my blessings but not uh, pushing it. <laughs> so, anyway, namaste. I love you guys. Um, and I wish you all the luck in the world with this 